right, in this video, we're going to learn how to find the, the x-intercept right here. And you're going to report the answer like this. And also how to find the y-intercept. And we're going to report the answer like this. And so let's look at this function right here. It says right here that a function crosses the x-axis when y equals 0. So we're going to set the function equal to 0, and we're going to solve for x. All right, so what does that mean? This means this. We're going to set this function equal to x. So we're going to say 1 over x plus 2 equals 0. We're looking for the x-intercept. Okay. And now we're going to get rid of the denominator. And what do we do to get rid of the denominator? We multiply both sides by the denominator, right? All right, well, that cancels this. We have 1 equals 0 times x plus 2. Well, what is 0 times x plus 2? Well, if you don't know, what is 0 times x? 0. What is 0 times 2? 0. So does 1 equal 0? No. So here we have no x-intercept. Basically, there's no x to solve for here, okay? If you look at this right here, there's no x to solve for, so there's no x-intercept, okay? If you end up with this result, something that doesn't make sense like this, that literally means that it never crosses the x-axis. All right, let's try it again. Let's find the x-intercept for this one. Well, what do we do? You take the function, and you set it equal to 0. And then now we get rid of the denominator. So we multiply this side, the left, and the right side by x minus 1. Okay. Well, we know this cancels. So now we have 3x plus 2 equals, and remember once again, what is 0 times anything? It's going to be 0. All right, but this one, we do have an x to solve for, right? It's right here. So this one is not nonsensical. This one we can literally solve for x. So we subtract 2 from both sides. We have 3x equals negative 2. We divide by 3. We get that x equals negative 2 thirds. So how do we report the answer? Said so right here, x comma 0. We're going to report it as a coordinate point. So this crosses the x-axis at negative 2 thirds, 0. And that would be the x-intercept for this one. All right, how to solve for the y-intercept? For the y-intercept, the function is crossing the y-axis when x equals 0. So then we're going to solve for y. So this literally means that you're going to solve for y equals 1 over 0 plus 2. This x right here, this becomes a y and this becomes a 0, okay? And so we have y equals 1 over 2. So how are you going to report the answer? This function is crossing the y-axis at 0, 1 half. Right. When you look at this one, again, this one is going to become a y, and you have two places where we have x. So those places are going to become 0. So we have y equals 3 times 0 plus 2 over 0 minus 1. What is 3 times 0? 0. And then plus 2, so 2. And 0 minus 1 is a negative 1. So this means that y equals negative 2. How are we going to report the answer? 0 comma negative 2. I right, go ahead and review this video if you need help in how to solve for an x-intercept, which is right here, and for the y-intercept.